I get so many questions on how to best categorize Amazon transactions, Costco, Target, you know, those stores that you would normally buy a lot of different things. It can be really difficult to categorize. Well, Monarch finally came out with an Amazon Chrome extension and this extension is going to also be expanded into other stores. Right now we just have Amazon. So I wanna walk you through how to make sure that is set up so that you can automatically categorize your Amazon transactions and have way better detail instead of just throwing everything in shopping. So let's dive into it. Real quick, I'm a financial coach. I help my clients with budgeting, debt management, saving, and really setting up their budgeting systems in Monarch Money so that they can find success with their financial goals. I've been helping a lot of clients get this Amazon extension set up for them. We've done some troubleshooting, but I wanna walk you through what I've learned so far so that you can have an easy time setting up this extension. All right, so let's get started. So if this is a fairly easy extension to set up. There's some people who have some troubleshooting issues, not a big deal, but it is really easy to set up. So don't be don't be alarmed here. Um, but if you have don't have the extension, what you're normally seeing is just Amazon. It goes into shopping and you have your dollar amounts here. And you normally have to log into Amazon and figure out what you bought and leave your own notes and categorize. Well, now with this extension, there's usually a banner up here that's gonna tell you, hey, there's a new Amazon extension, but if you're not seeing that banner, you can actually just go open a new tab, uh, open a new browser and type in Monarch Amazon Chrome extension. This is going to take you right to the website that you need uh, to add this retail extension and get details on it. There's lots of uh, frequently asked questions, there's help articles, there's lots to help you get started. Uh, so if we're gonna download the extension right here, and it's gonna take us to this web browser where it's gonna, we're gonna add this to our Chrome browser. This is only available on Chrome and Chrome compatible browsers. So it looks like uh, Microsoft Edge and Brave and a few others like that. Again, all of this is in the frequently asked questions inside the, when you uh, Google the Monarch Money Amazon extension. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and click add to Chrome. We're gonna go ahead and add this extension. And it's gonna give us a nice little pop-up right here to let us know that it's been added. You have some setup to do. So normally it's right there, but if you notice it disappears, no worries. All you have to do is click on this little icon, this little puzzle icon that's on your browser. Once you click on that, it's going to give you your extension again. It's always right here. You might just have to click on this, but if you want it to stay there, I recommend pinning it so that it always is right here and you can really easily click on it when you're ready. So we're gonna walk through the process. First, we're gonna log into Monarch Money. Once you click on that, you should already be logged in. So it's gonna take you right back to where you started. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that butterfly icon again, and we're gonna set up Amazon. Now you wanna make sure you're already logged into Amazon. So you're gonna open up an Amazon, another you know, browser, open up Amazon, and make sure that you're already logged in here. Once you've logged into Amazon, go ahead and go back to that um, Chrome extension, click on that little butterfly and click on set up. It's going to have you connect that Amazon account now. And usually that's it, that's all you need to do. Now it's going to ask you to sync this. Now normally what, what's gonna happen, because I've already had this logged in before, um, it's gonna ask you if you want to do past transactions or just future transactions. You can do either one. Uh, I It really just depends. Now it's going to, if you choose past transactions and you've been categorizing your Amazon transactions, it's going to not going to override what you already have in your notes if you've left notes, um, but it may change your categories or split transactions. So you can choose to just do future ones. I like the idea of doing past ones as well, just so you can make sure it's working because there's some things that you, you should be able to see stuff immediately if you choose the past transactions. If you choose future transactions, you might have to wait till you order some stuff on Amazon to see if it's working and then try it again. So. I, I think it's best to just do the past transactions so you can make sure it's all functioning, but it's totally up to you. So you can click on past transactions or future transactions. It's gonna walk you through those prompts. So this is a common issue is that you, once you've synced, you're going back to Monarch and you're like, well, I don't see any difference. And that's a really common common issue. So what you're gonna do is a couple different troubleshooting things. One, you might wanna click on this gear icon. This gear icon is gonna open up another uh, window that's going to get, get you into the settings of your extension. From here, you you can go to orders and if you're seeing your orders here and if it's looking like there's some transactions here then it looks like it's working there might be just a couple things you might want to do um, for one if you chose you want to only do future orders and you change your mind and you do want to do um, past orders you can try to do past orders now it does only do past orders for up to like I think 180 transactions so while there's a drop down with tons of years you're probably only gonna be able to do the last uh, last year and so you can do that and click on sync and it's going to try to bring in past transactions. 
Um, you may have to take some time. There is some limits on how often it can pull this data in. So if this isn't working, you might have to come back to it in an hour or so. Uh, but uh, what you can also do if this still isn't working, what I recommend doing is maybe logging out of Amazon, logging out of Monarch, and then removing the Chrome extension and trying it again. Sometimes that is what the needs to give it a little bit of a kick. You don't have to necessarily remove the extension every time. You don't have to remove it and disable it, but you can log out of Amazon and log out of Monarch and oftentimes it'll kick it into gear. Um, so when you're ready, what you're going to do is go back to your transaction page and you're gonna click on refresh because it might also just be that you need to refresh your browser. Maybe nothing's wrong. You just need to make sure you refresh. And there we go. Now that I've refreshed, you're gonna notice that it, there's a couple different things that happen. One is that there's, there's this little icon here that says retail sync. This is a tag to let me know that the retail sync has touched these transactions. Uh, then there's also a split icon. This means that it has split this transaction. It, what was once one transaction is now two. So if I click on this, it will show me how it's, um, you can open up the splits and figure out what that original transaction was. Um, and you can unsplit it if you feel like it did it incorrectly. Now, when you hover over your notes, it's gonna give you all the details of what you bought for that purchase. It gives you the details, even a link to your order history that you can follow. And it does try its best to categorize it in the best categories for you. It still might not get it perfect all the time. It's not gonna know if something's a gift or not, right? So you do have to make sure you're going through and categorizing still but at least you have some details to help you do that. And that's it, that's as simple as it is. So if you need help, then I recommend clicking on Help Center right here and it's going to bring you up the frequently asked questions, all of the data that you need to make sure you're troubleshooting and most questions will be answered here. Um, you can also talk contact support through your extension. Now remember that extension is right here and you can click on that gear icon. You can open up that window and contact support as needed. So you also have some other items here that you can adjust. You can choose whether or not it automatically splits transactions if you don't want it to do that. Um, and you can add the item detail to the transaction note uh, that you can also uh, select this and turn this off if you don't want it to do it. I don't see why you would. These are great things to have um, and that is what you're looking for. Now, if you've done any rules or changes to the merchant name, that is what you need to enter in here. If you've chosen to rename Amazon inside Monarch, you've taken your Monarch and you've renamed Amazon, you may need to let the Chrome extension know that as well. Um, when you're looking at uh, your, when you're looking into your extension, you may need to edit that in order to, it to find and link the transactions properly. So hopefully you haven't messed with the merchant name. If you have, no big deal, just make sure you change it here. And that's it, it's really that simple. If you split a transaction, if there's taxes or fees, I, it does get split uh, proportionally. Uh, throughout the transaction. So if it got split three times, the taxes and fees are gonna get split in proportionally with those uh, three transactions. And it looks like it's running really well. A lot of people are having huge success with it. They're absolutely loving it. So let me know in the comments what troubleshooting issues you're running into. Um, here's uh, one common one really quickly is if you, are, uh, if you have multiple Amazon accounts. What I'd recommend doing is actually um, just making sure that your login in Monarch is is in on one browser. Uh, so you have your own Chrome browser with your Monarch login and Amazon. Uh, I would have your spouse or your partner, whoever, you know, whoever the other account is for to have their own Chrome browser and they can set up the extension with their account and their login for Monarch and their login for Amazon and the extension can work just fine. Cause if it's not, if it's find something that isn't there and this is a perfect example, um, it didn't sync this transaction and it's because it's on us um, uh, on someone else's Amazon account. Uh, this is, so it's not going to, you know, obviously be able to know because I'm connected to my Amazon account, it's not gonna know what this transaction is so it doesn't touch it. But if that person who has the Amazon account logs into Monarch on their own Chrome browser, their own profile, uh, and they log into Amazon and do the exact same steps that we've done, then their extension will find their Amazon transactions. Uh, so it can work with two, it just needs to be on two different browsers if, if you need it. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any troubles getting this set up, I'd love to hear in the comments what you're running into and I'd love to do more videos on this if needed. But again, it's really fairly straightforward. Most people are finding great success with it. Uh, so give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Thanks so much.